welcome back to our cooking series. You're with me, Dina, on halalmarket.sg. I hope you have enjoyed our previous recipes that we have shared with you. Remember that you can get most of our ingredients at our website, halalmarket.sg. We provide you with a range of products ranging from chicken to beef to spices and the best part is that it will be delivered right to your doorstep at your convenience. So for today, I'll be sharing with you one of my favourite recipes, roasted chicken. Let's check out the ingredients. So some of the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe would be some olive oil, water, chicken stock, 24 cloves of garlic, one whole lemon, black pepper, rosemary leaves, dried or fresh, both is fine, some salt, tomatoes, potatoes, and one whole chicken. So the first thing we'll be doing will be squeezing some lemon juice into the cavity of our chicken. We'll also leave the lemon inside the cavity. And then we will season um, the outside, the skin, with some salt and oil. Make sure our chicken is well seasoned. And we'll also massage the oil into the chicken. To also do it on the other side. You can add some black pepper also. So we'll also put some rosemary leaves, if you have fresh that would be better, um, into the cavity of the chicken. Also put some outside. Okay, so now that our chicken is marinated, we'll just move it to the rack. Okay, so um, before we put it in the oven, we'll actually cover the chicken breast with some aluminium foil for the first 20 minutes. Okay, and now we can put it in the oven. So now, I've already preheated my oven to 230 degrees and we'll cook our chicken inside for 20 minutes. I've also covered the chicken breast with aluminium foil to actually retain its moisture while it's cooking. So while waiting for our chicken to cook in the oven for the first 20 minutes, We'll actually be blanching our garlic inside our hot boiling water for 3 minutes first. Okay, so now that our garlic is done, we'll actually prepare our potatoes for it to be roasted together with our chicken. So we'll just cut, um, we'll quarter our potatoes, or however small you actually like them. And then we'll put it in our tray. Okay, so now that our potatoes are chopped, we will season it with some salt, pepper, rosemary leaves and some oil. Make sure everything is nicely coated and even. So remember to chop your potatoes at the same size so that when they cook, they will cook evenly. Okay, so now that the first 20 minutes is done, we will actually add more ingredients before we put it back in. We will take out the aluminium foil for now and we'll put our blanched garlic around it. We'll also be adding some water to the base of our chicken so that it would not burn. We'll also be adding more oil to the chicken breasts. And of course, seasoning it, seasoning it again. And of course, um, the last step would be just adding some chicken stock and just putting it all over. So 
now before we put it back in, we'll actually just cover the, the thigh area and leave the breast to cook. Okay, and now we'll put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes at 180 degrees. So now that I've already put in my chicken for the second half, we'll also put our potatoes in. Okay, so now that our chicken is done for another 20 minutes, we'll take it out and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now that it's out, we'll just remove the aluminium foil and then we will just add more liquid to the base, add some water and pour some chicken stock on top of our chicken. We'll also cut our tomatoes and add it to the side and let it roast with the chicken for the last 20 minutes. Just a little bit of lemon juice just to freshen it up a bit. And now that we're ready to go, we'll just add it in at a lower temperature at about 120 degrees for the last 20 minutes. Okay, so now that our chicken's out the oven, we'll let it rest for about 20 minutes and just flip it over. While waiting for our chicken to rest, we'll actually remove our potatoes, tomatoes and our garlic. So here we have it, our roasted chicken with some baked tomatoes and potatoes. I hope you try it. Remember that you can get most of our ingredients at our website, halalmarket.sg. The best part is that we will deliver it right to your doorstep. I'm Dina and I'll see you next time.